Tanamboca Puco, Tanamboca Puco, Tanamboca Poco, Poco Loco. Hey everyone, today we're going to take a look at a badass knife from Topps. It's the Topps Tanamboca, I think I'm saying that right. They're Puco. Pucos have always been one of my favorite knives, and just like they say on their website, this one you can't put down. I haven't been able to put it down since I got it. So let's take a look at some of the details coming up right now on Living Survival. We got some building going on in the background, but let's take a look at the Topps Tanambo Capuco. This is one of my all-time favorite knives from Topps, maybe one of my all-time favorite knives of all time. Topps has been killing it this year with the styles and the designs that they've been coming out with. As you can see, you get a really, really nice leather sheath here. The fit and finish is excellent. It's got a belt loop there, so a basic sheath, but it's finished really nicely. I like the stitching, and then we can pull out this beautiful Puko knife. Now, Pucos are, again, one of my favorite knives. Scandinavian design. Typically, they have a Scandi grind, rounded handles, and just like they say on the website, this one is absolutely nearly impossible to put down. It's so versatile. You could use it as just a everyday carry knife, you know, your fixed blade knife. You could even rig this up to be a neck knife or get some Kydex made for it. All sorts of options you can do with this. It's very, very comfortable in the hand. Fits my hand perfectly. When I picked this up at SHOT Show, I knew this one was going to be a winner. Now, I wasn't a fan of the Phillips head screws at first, but after, you know, getting used to it for a while, it really doesn't bother me. And again, the fit and finish is just excellent. They're recessed into the handles. They sort of match these little uh, little holes there in the in the handles. So I think it's, it's put together well. It certainly is a very, very nicely designed knife. So you do have an awesome Scandi grind there. It is absolutely razor, razor sharp. The edge, the spine on it is razor sharp as well for those of you that like a sharpened spine. I typically don't use the sharpened spine as some do to strike my ferrule rod. I use it for scraping. So for scraping down tinder, you could use this. Again, this is a very versatile knife, so you could use this hunting, fishing, uh, just general camp use, food prep, uh, everyday carry. There's so many different ways you can use this knife. I think it's the perfect size. It's 7.75 uh, inches overall with a 3.63 blade and then I believe a 3.6 uh, cutting surface on the blade there. You do have the sharpening nick there which I find is cool. Typically you do not see any sort of a finger guard or choil on a Puko. Again, it just just fits like a glove in my hand and and it's just it's it just it just locks it's just one of those knives that you pick up you instantly just form a bond with it and uh, so far I'm loving this Topps Puko. 0.130 inches thick and of course made out of Topps's 1095 they do 1095 so well it only weighs 5.1 ounces so it's not overly heavy the handles aren't overly cumbersome it's thicker up here where I like it to be where my actual grip of my thumb and my forefinger are Usually you get a big swell here in the middle and then it dips down here and dips down here This one sort of tapers up from the back. So I really like that one of my favorite handle designs You've got the tumble finish on there. I mean, they've just done an outstanding job on this knife Nothing better than unfinished micarta or you know bead blasted or lightly sanded micarta. That's not glossy It's it's got a lot of texture to it and a lot of grip. I really like that when it comes to my handle design again you've got that sweep up towards the blade there that just locks in my hand and all in all just excellent fit and finish you got the liners there of course full tang everything is rounded off nicely there's no edges or sharp spots on the handle at all very finely finished excellent excellent design and execution by tops and take a closer look at the blade here you can see that high scandy grind tanim boca puco made in the USA of course pretty dang sweet of course Pucos are gonna excel at camp tasks sort of an everyday camp knife it's light enough to carry every day for sure again it's gonna excel at all your bushcraft type stuff your outdoor type stuff that high scandy grind is just gonna just gonna make excellent feathers for you whether you're doing fire prep food prep 
it's very slicey of course so food preps not a problem and when they remove that finger guard and, and have no choil on a knife you're able to choke right up again I like that it's thicker here uh, thicker here towards the blade you're able to choke right up towards that blade and get your get your grip right where the blade starts and that's going to give you the ultimate in control so you can just be very precise and let the blade do the work a lot of times you have to kind of tweak your grip things like that with knives figure it out this one you just put in your hand and it goes to work And again, having that really sharp spine on there is gonna allow you to scrape. Whether you're a hunter making traps, whether you're a fisherman and, and uh, processing small game, just out camping, just out practicing bushcraft, this knife's gonna allow you to do a lot of things in a nice small package. So not only does a Scandi grind lend itself very, very well to being a bush knife or an outdoor type knife, but I think it's just probably one of the most versatile uh, grinds you can put on a blade. So not only is it gonna excel at those camp style tasks, but it's also gonna excel at your everyday style tasks too. And being the size and weight that this knife is, you could easily everyday carry this. And with how comfortable it is in my hand, Again, it's so hard to, to not play with this when it's right in front of you. I could spend hours and hours showing you how awesome this knife is, but I wanted to get a video out there so that you could see for yourself. You really do need to handle one. So hopefully you can get your hands on one. I know they've put them on sale right now. I believe they're down to $120, down from $150, which is a steal for this knife. Again, just excellent construction, excellent design. Feels great in the hand, performs well, lightweight can be used for many different applications. There's really nothing not to like about this knife. I certainly don't have any cons when it comes to this knife, nor have I had many cons with the Topps knives that I've reviewed for 2017. Again, they're just hitting it out of the park, and this is another home run for Topps. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video today, taking a look at the Topps Puko. Many great Puko designs out there. I think this is definitely one of my favorites that I've held or used. I think they hit a home run with this Puko for sure. I know it's one of my all time favorite knives. And again, like I said, they've lowered the price down to $120 with that leather sheath. It's a steal all day long. So I'm gonna put a link below to Topps' website where you guys can check this out as well as some of their other great designs for 2017. Hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Sorry for the wind, sorry for the construction noise, sorry for the airplanes, the helicopters, and everything else going on today. Hope you guys give this video a big thumbs up for me. Make sure you leave me a comment below. Please share this video to your friends and family on your social media. And as always, don't forget to click that red subscribe button. Subscribe to my channel for more videos.